Um, I'm at the laundromat right now and I am about to crack open Prisoner of Azkaban and it's super dark in here, so yeah. So it's like 10 o'clock and the music has started. Good luck. I just thought of something. So Harry Potter's birthday is in either like end of July or August because they get out of school in June, right? So, and it's like five weeks after. And so I think Harry Potter's a Leo. So I am already enjoying Prisoner of Azkaban maybe like three times more in Chamber of Secrets. It's already so much going on. So during the part where the Dursals, Harry was staying at the Dursals, I was thinking that this kind of reminds me of Roald Dahl because, you know, kind of like poor magical boy in England with these like oppressive parents, you know, kind of like James and the Giant Peach or something like that. And then Aunt Marge swelled up like Violet Beauregard. I feel like my thinking wasn't that far off. Super stoked that Hagrid's a teacher, hey. It's also a lot creepier and it started a lot quicker instead of like in the first two novels where it's just kind of like fake drama, like the real heavy stuff happened very quickly within the first 100 pages of the novels. Woke up at six o'clock today, whether I meant to or not, to go <laughs> read Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> so we're walking to get internet right now because it's impossibly slow and we have some uploads to do. <laughs> Hang on, you can't even see me because I'm so blown out right now. I'm invisible. Uh, Harry just learned how to do a Patronus charm on Dementors and they have a game against Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw and it's not like super juicy yet uh, I think like maybe the last hundred pages will be super juicy so I just finished Prisoner of Azkaban it was super speedy I really enjoyed it I gave it four out of five stars I liked it when Hagrid cried I liked I didn't really like when they time jumped that much because that's the issue I had with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is they were just like shifting time too much and it's just like man that's too easy of a cop out so as long as they don't use it again i'll excuse it but um i'm really glad that potter has a godfather i'm happy with the dark arts teacher that he wasn't like insane and he was cool and helpful some dark parts with like some dark lord possession which i can see why i wasn't allowed to watch or read when i was younger especially coming from like a religious background i like the dementors that was such a weird twist added a lot of elements to it because they weren't functioning as humans you know so you couldn't really like predict what they were gonna do especially at the end with the kiss and this happened at like one of the last scenes and i really liked it it was really touching the next one i'm up to is uh the goblet of fire thanks for watching y'all feel free to subscribe and let me know your favorite harry potter novel is and i will see y'all next time take it easy it's the big book Go, but oh my gosh I woke up early today just so I could continue reading because where I left off it got crazy 